I, I, I wasn't running away from the happiness I didn't get. But I gotta tell you, I'm not gonna lie, it made it easier to leave. I'm so sorry. I've been so self-absorbed. Oh. I haven't asked, asked you anything. I didn't come here for you to throw me a pity party. Oh. I'm only telling you this now because I just thought maybe my experience could inform yours. The first person you have to live with is yourself, Pina. Mm -hmm. And you've got to find a way to do that. A way to find your own self-respect. And go from there. And that is all the advice that I'm giving you today. <laughs> So feel free to disregard every word. Not a chance. It's pretty black and white from where I'm standing. Look, you just laid out A to Z why I shouldn't love Elizabeth. And I, and I get all that. But I didn't expect to fall in love with her. It just happened. And once it did, there wasn't anything I could do about it. Hey, you poor soul. Couldn't help yourself. Huh? You just had to have her. She's made it very clear to me that you are her one and only choice. This is so surreal. How is this supposed to end, huh? I wish I wish I knew. I, I don't know. I suppose you'll just you'll go on with your plans with Elizabeth and I'll applaud you from the sidelines and hope that someday you'll forgive me. You're not only in love with my fiance the love of my life, but you lied to me. When would you wish that I would have told you the truth? I mean, when would have been a better time to hear that I'm in love with Elizabeth? And how? Christmas dinner or something? You're messed up, man. Look, I'll let myself believe that this is just some side effect of losing Emily. You know, they say you're not supposed to judge other people's grief, but that does not give you a free pass to abandon your moral compass and walk all over me. Just because you're lost doesn't mean you get to drag the rest of us down with you. Yeah, I was, I was fresh out of the academy when I caught Franco in the act. And you, my good friend and mentor, told me to write him up on a citation. Told me that the guys in the precinct would think I was a overzealous jerk for making such a big deal about a tagger. That I should focus on the bad guys and, and let the graffiti artists go. And it took me right up until now to realize that you were playing me and cover for Franco. I knew Franco from a long time ago. He helped me out of a jam once. Oh, wow, that must be some jam. You were willing to cover for a murderer? <sighs> right before I got accepted into the academy, I, I was short of cash and I was worried I might not get in. I got stupid. I hit a liquor store. And Franco got busted for it. But I knew that if anything like that ended up on my record, there was no way I was going to get into the academy. So I let him take the fall. So I bust Franco for tagging, and he what? Blackmails you into covering his tracks? He didn't have to. I just figured I owed him. Owed him? Owed him? What? A free pass on a homicide? I didn't know he was the Tribeca murderer. I didn't want to know. There was no hard evidence. Now do you get why I've been riding you so hard? You lose your objectivity, you end up compromising yourself. I've been waiting for you to show up. I was looking for Franco. Nothing, not a trace. Oh, that's not that's not what I wanted to hear. Franco's got the evidence, you know, that, that proves Michael killed Claudia. You should have taken out the son of a bitch. He, he, he had Sam and Lulu as hostages. I couldn't take that risk. No, I understand that, but Lulu and Sam are just the final match. I mean, you, you, you run the defensive with this guy from the beginning. You forced him to... to Still haven't caught a friend go. That's how we beat you, Jason. On the defensive, running away. At the first sign of a cold, 
I did. A song by Paul Beckman, Paul Rainbow Song. Oh, I'll continue the same song. Here we go. Created December, no, created January, <sighs> January tw um, 12th, 2010. Well, you still haven't gotten Frank or Jason, and he's got you on the defensive. You haven't caught up with him. He's always several steps ahead of you. He's in your head now, Jason. Jason. When you gonna get him, Sonny's putting the pressure on you now. Are you gonna find him or not? Good thing none of you were killed when he set off his last bomb in his own house. Oh, well, you didn't get hurt, you know. Your friend Lucky. Lucky was pretty lucky. He didn't get blown up when that bomb went off. Whoa, Frank goes wreaking havoc in the world on General Hospital. 